Alright, we are back for round one. Very solid hand. I could use a two drop, but you know. That aside, it's pretty much perfect. And I, I guess I have two draw step just to, to draw a two drop. It's only one left now, but you know, it's still. 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 There, there's still hope. What is that? A captive. I think I don't mind making the trade, so I'm gonna offer the trade. And then we'll pass the turn. Also, I could have a decent amount of uh, tricks, so my opponent is not very likely to block anyway. Next turn, we can play a sentry, followed by a survivalist. Yeah, things are just gonna be pretty simple and hopefully efficient. As the opponent doesn't have anything, that's interesting. I guess patrol is a better play. I don't think they are blocking. Maybe they are blocking and trying to use two. I mean, if they block, I'm just gonna let things resolve. Oh, they have the widow. Mm, I did not play about uh, around that. I mean, the spinner. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, uh, that's really bad. Mm, it's it's not a great card. The stats are just not so appealing. And I could have a bunch of trick here, but it's gonna work out fine for the open. I guess I could have played around that. So it's kind of a. Uh, it's kind of a misplay from my side here. Not sure that I should play around a card that I haven't seen in the open deck yet though. And that I think is rather mediocre. But since they passed with 4 mana open, I guess it was rather obvious that they had something like that. So I kind of lo lost my prowler for no reason here. And that could hurt. That could hurt me quite a lot. I guess the opponent might attack because they might want to be able to block with that and sacrifice it. They did not. Okay. Then I guess I'm playing Survivalist and next turn I'm potentially playing Cultivator plus a Sentry or, you know, I guess we, we, we'll see. Something is happening end of turn, interestingly enough. Waxing Moon. Well, that was not expected. Uh, pretty good card though. I mean, right here. I don't think it's great in in general, unless you have really a bunch of werewolves. But here it's going to be quite good for the opponent for obvious reasons. So it seems like some sort of mono green deck. Uh, sure, you can attack with that, and you should probably attack with that because I don't. It's not like I'm. I I want to trade that with this anyway. Eat of the Orid Swarm. Okay, that's decent. So I guess I'm playing a sentry now and passing the turn. Not sure if the opponent is on mono green or if they just drew no other color yet. I guess depending on what they do this turn is going to tell us a bit more. If they just pass not doing anything it's more likely that they have another color in hand. Uh, okay, I'm probably just taking three from that dude. Drawing a land is not bad. Uh, but I guess Eat of the Orid Swarm cost uh, 4 if I sack the sentry. Probably just gonna play another sentry and a cultivator. And then the one doesn't really have a good attack with the Byway Courier because if they do, I can double block with both sentry. Even if they, I guess, even if they, they have a trick, it's fine with me because I do have the, you know, I will still get my 2 3 2. Um, and I think my goal this game is just to build a very large board, attack for a bunch, tenacity, and gain a bunch of life and destroy a bunch of my opponent's creature. So it's some sort of mirror match, because I would assume that since they are playing blue-green, my opponent is trying to emerge creatures too. We'll see how it goes. So far, so good. I mean, Ghostly Wing is slightly an annoying, but uh, I don't think my opponent is very likely to race me when I have tenacity and a board as huge, as huge as this one, so feels fine to me. Prey Upon is certainly not a bad card. Uh, okay. It's 
So I can get rid of the byway courier if I want to. Not sure, not sure that I need to do that right now though. I think I'm just gonna wait for now. And probably use prey upon af in, in my second main phase next turn after I tenacity to finish finish off something good. Uh, we'll see though. I think I will just not try to make math and attack with everything next turn, unless the opponent plays something that you know makes me change my mind. But in general, I think that's gonna be the, my line. We'll see though, we'll see. Mockery of nature, and they have to destroy their own. No, they don't have, but I guess they... How did they cast that? Oh, they sacked the spinner, interesting. That's weird. Not sure that's... I, I, I mean, I, you'd rather just wait and sacrifice the druid, right? But oh well. The thing now is that if I attack with everything and I tenacity, well, it's actually fine. Let's say they block here and there. I lose my survivalist, but those trades, they t well, yeah, I think it's completely fine. Also, my opponent only has three mana available, so it's less likely that something bad happens. Yeah, let's not think too much. Let's not think too much. Okay, something is happening apparently. Maybe it's gonna be a spontaneous mutation on, on one of my creature. Yes, it is. Okay, that's. I mean, mutation is not looking very good right here because they only have two cards in the gr into the graveyard. <laughs> and again, we have the prey upon that we can use after blocks to. Uh, to finish off uh, things, you know, something potentially, not sure what we will finish off, but most likely, uh, okay, the open block was decent, I would assume. The mutation is kind of annoying, but I think we are, s I, I, I haven't made math, but I think we are doing, doing quite a lot of damage. So they, they got their druid trigger, and now I can finish off the captive, I guess, is the better option. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, seems pretty good. I go up to 36, I get my 3-2. And... The opponent conceded, interestingly enough. The thing is... Let's say I attack next turn with everything, they block here, they block here, I only deal 5. Not sure... Why did they concede like... I'm at 36, but it's not like I'm winning. And my draw, what I would have drawn after that was pretty... I guess the Decimator would have won me the game, but... I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I think it was a bit early to concede. Even if you have two lands in hand, it's not like you are dead on the board or anything. Okay, so blue-green... Emerge stuff, I guess. The fact that they have the um, the mockery of nature makes the graft a bit worse, I think. And it's my only artifact slash enchantment, so I might want to cut that. Also, this card doesn't seem great in this specific matchup, so I think it's something I could cut to just make it that the the stupid mockery doesn't destroy me. Um. This also, you know, the the mockery also makes the bone slightly slightly worse. Probably don't want the the scarecrow. Uh, I guess spectral reserve could be decent in this matchup. A bit of evasion and some flyer. I I can appreciate that. I think. Or I guess a two drop. No, I think I like that. Seems pretty good to me. Just making sure, I mean, it's pretty easy for me to make uh, my opponent have absolutely no target for their uh, Mockery of Nature, so I might as well do it. Also, the Stitcher's Graft is much worse on the draw. I mean, not much worse, but worse on the draw, so I think it's it's fine. 
This hand is kind of slow. I think it's good enough though. And my open deck is not particularly fast, so I think I can afford to keep that. Would not be the case in other matchup, but here I think it's fine. And I have quite a bunch of two or three drop that I could draw, or one drop, I guess. I have two of them. Uh, that could be bad news though. Yeah. Turn to pacifist is going to be very brutal. Uh, but I haven't, you, you know, I did not see that, uh, so that last game, so, yeah. I think my, my, my keep was risky, but fine against uh, what I would consider to be a rather slow deck. I would not have kept that against white red beatdown, but it seems that my opponent has a very, very aggressive start here. I mean, not very, very aggressive, but, you know, aggressive enough to, to punish me quite a bit. Um... So I don't think I can afford to purge that, but if I don't, I take 12 before I can do anything about it. Which is pretty bad. Uh, I guess I'm still really hate doing that, but it feels like I have enough lands to cast my spell anyway, and if I don't, I go down to 12, then I play the werewolf, I go down to 8, and it's just gonna be a bit too many damage, I think. Okay, well that's pretty brutal, but not a whole lot I can do about that. Okay, drawing, that was decent. I don't think Waxing Moon is a very good card, but so far it has been decent for the opponent, that's for sure. Since they had that, I think it was even a better op. It was even better to to purge. Otherwise, I would really have been in in quite a lot of trouble. I'm already in quite a lot of trouble, but it would have even been worse hadn't I used the because I would be down to eight, and I would have to chump block. Yeah, I, I'm glad I I I, I killed uh, the thing, but I think yeah, my oven probably made one of the most aggressive de start they can make with their deck, and yeah, that's that's brutal. That's brutal. Um, so I guess the move is probably this past the turn. Pray they don't have too much as a follow-up. And at some point I can cast the Decimator of Province as a blocker, which is not exactly what you want to be doing with that card, but which I might have to do. Oh, they have a Wretch Grief too. Yeah, that's that's pretty brutal. I think my hand was a keep given what I saw game one though. I'm pretty positive about that. Add the best card of my deck, a very, very good four drop, a cheap removal and some lands. I think it was my hand. And I think it was a keep, but it's close, it's certainly close. Um Miracle Evangel. <sighs> I think, you know, if my opponent has some sort of trick or removal, I lose. Like, if they, if they have spontaneous mutation, I think I'll lose, pretty much. I think my best bet here is to prey upon there, hope they have nothing. This way I can triple block here, hope they have nothing, take three, draw land, play my stag, trade those, and then I can maybe come back. But if I, if they have any, any sort of trick, I think I'll lose no matter what, so I don't think I can afford to play around stuff anyway. So we'll try to do that. It's more likely not gonna work, but there's there's no way I can play around uh, a removal. Turn aside. My deck plays two spells that three spells that target opponents permanent. Why why would you? My open deck has some very very interesting choice to say the least. I mean, waxing moon maybe it's good enough, but I don't think so. They are only attacking with a grief. What? So maybe I can come back in in this game actually. Good lord. Yeah, I mean, I thought, what the hell? Turn aside was really weird. A spider end of turn. 
Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Good news is that is that is that I can chum block with everything and then I mean, make some chum block and then use the the Avengers. So I'm not dead yet. What on earth? With I mean, this card is already pretty bad. I guess it's a good type of option against a red black deck with a bunch of removal. But like my my deck, I mean. A, a, a white green deck in general will not contain more than two or three spells that can target the opponent. I really don't get that play. But I guess since the opponent has a pretty perfect draw, it's gonna work out for them. So they can get. Yeah, I guess none of the cards they can get back matters a lot. The 4 5 body is gonna matter, most likely, though. I'm still not dead. That's, that's really weird. I, I don't think this was. I don't know, turn aside really? Like game one, if you don't have enough playable, okay, but game two you side that out against a white green deck. No? So you got it back, which I actually don't care about because I probably have I only have one card left in my deck that can target other other spells, so Yeah, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> that play did not make much sense to me. Still in quite a lot of trouble here. And if I sack one of my creatures to play the Decimator of Province, I... I lose. Um, and I don't think I have enough. Like, my oven has 6, 11, 17 points of blockers, so the Decimator is not gonna be enough. Like, I can assemble 5, 9, no, this would be sacrificed anyway. I guess this would be sacrificed. No, this would be sacrificed. I, I can assemble the 17 points of damage, so I'm, I'm very far from killing them. Or putting enough pressure. Uh, Prowler was actually a pretty good draw, though. Okay, so they have a pretty useless card in hand, and if they continue not to attack... Like, if they attack with everything here, or too many creatures, I can block with a bunch of things, sacrifice the things I've blocked with, with the Miracle Evangel, and then just one-shot them with Decimator of province, Provinces. That'd be great, that'd be great. I, I hope they did not top deck something too good. They are not attacking, though. But if they keep not attacking, I can start drawing card of that. Now, should I try to get a card or should I make that a 4-4? Four, four? I think I'm gonna let that flip and either play whatever I draw or, uh, f you know, flip that thing. <sighs> or I guess I can flip that too pretty soon. Yeah, I need one more mana. They have something. Another spider. Woodland patrol. What? Am I missing something? Oh, it's their main phase. Never mind. I thought it was in the turn. This is why I was a bit puzzled. Sure. Sentry is a good one. I like that a lot. Oh, never mind. I don't. I don't need that much mana because I have the uh, the howler, I guess. But they have enough toughness that I will need quite a lot more like they I they have 18 toughness right here I think if I'm not miscounting yeah 18 toughness and currently I can let's say I sack that let's say I sack the sentry actually no let's say I use that with a sentry and I get 232 two, and I sack the mutation and that yeah no problem I don't really care about that at all I guess that gives me a sack outlet which is good so I know they have turn aside in hand and 18 points of 
toughness. Now, let's say I sag this, I make 232. Two. I sag that for the decimator of provinces. It's gonna be 10 from the 232, two, 15, 20, 26, uh, 31, and this is 38! That's just lethal! <laughs> I think that's just perfectly lethal. So they have turn aside in hand. Let, I, I'm just gonna remake the calculation. This is 10 plus 5, 15 plus 3, 18, right? Okay. Because if I miss just one damage, I might die on the backswing. So this is the 18 point of toughness. I have 232 two out of that. I sack this. Plus 2 plus 2 trample. This is a 7 7 trample east. Okay. So the 232 two is going to be 10, 15. This can. Oh, I have to sacrifice him, but it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. 10, 15, 20. 26, 31, 38. They have 18 toughness, they take 20. Pretty sure it does work, unless I'm bad at math, which I could very well be. And I think I'm just gonna sack those. But yeah. That's, you know, if, if, if I actually did not miss anything, and it is actually 18, I mean 38, it's going to be really funny. So, just to make sure, 20, 26, 31, 38. Yeah, I think it does the job. And I know there's nothing they can have. Okay, okay. Twenty seven. Yeah, that's just perfectly lethal. Ten toughness. Eighteen toughness. All right. What? I mean, what the hell? I know that the only card they have in hand is turn aside, so unless uh, did I miss something? No, they have turn aside in hand, which, I mean, the the moon thing that cannot do anything. Yeah. If they block here, I will deal one more damage than 20, though. But, yeah. I think this is lethal. Pretty positive it is. So here it's going to be 21 if they block like that. What? No, if you don't block with that, it's going to be even more than that. It's going to be like 26. So my prediction is that my opponent is going to end up at minus 6. Yes. Okay. Right. That's a very, very sweet win with the Decimator of Provinces when I was at 1. All right, that was great. I was worried that I would lose that game, and I made a very weak start, but I think whew, we did it. And I think had I made some slightly different play, I would have lost that game. So I'm pretty happy about how it went. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely fun and very nice to play. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I see you for round two in a few minutes.